guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I'm so glad you stopped by. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on how I DIY beautiful and functional decor in and around my home while on a budget, as well as the creation of greeting cards and travel and meal prep too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you come back and tune in. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a challenge, and this challenge is called the 2020 DIY and Decor Challenge. And this challenge is being hosted by Christina of the DIY Mommy. I will leave a link to Christina's channel down below in the description box. Make sure you stop by and check her out. This is a series of annual challenges hosted by Christina. In this spring edition of the 2020 DIY and Decor Challenge, I will share with you three spring DIYs to create a decorative tray for spring. I went online and I created a spring wreath and I added the words, Hello Spring. I wanted to create my own sign. I could have purchased one, but I thought it'd be more fun just to create my own sign. And here I printed the sign out. I went to Michael's and I purchased a canvas. I think it's a five by seven canvas piece. I'm going to use my paper cutter to cut the paper down to size and I have a picture frame holder. Here I'm just cutting it down to size. And here I'm going to use glue zots to attach the picture to the canvas. And here I have a bubble vase that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to spray paint it white. And I also have a bunch of blush colored flowers that I got from Michaels. Also, you'll see later on in the video where I added a gold belly band to the bubble vase. And then I added a crystal and pearl brooch to the center. I'm going to bend the stems of those flowers to fit inside the vase. I did, however, go back off camera and cut them off because bending it didn't allow it to sit in the vase the way I wanted it to. So I had to go back and cut them off. But I thought those flowers were so pretty. They just say spring to me. Cute right there but I really I think that simple adding the the gold belly band and the brooch took it up a notch and here is my spring DIY tray I've had these uh, pictures frames for 
some time now. They were black. I once painted them white. I once painted them brown. And today I'm going to paint them gold. I took the pegs out of the one of the frames. I took them both outside and spray painted them gold. Uh, I put two coats on there and I let them dry about an hour and a half um, in between. And here you can see I'm adding some hot glue because I'm going to glue the two picture frames together, making sure the one on the bottom still has the pegs. And then I'm going to follow that up with a little bit of quick set Gorilla Glue. And here I clean the glass and added it back to the picture frame. And here I'm taking the backing of that picture frame and adding some faux marble contact paper that I got from Amazon. I've been using this faux marble contact paper quite a bit. I'm getting my money's worth out of it. And here, I'm just going to cut off the extra. And now I'm going to add that back piece back into the bottom picture frame and attach the pegs. We're almost done. I went to Home Depot and I saw these beautiful drawer pulls. So I decided I'd add those to the tray. Here I'm going to measure the frame to find the center. And here I'm adding hot glue and Gorilla Glue to attach the handles. I won't be moving it or using the handles. This is purely decorative. It will be sitting on a flat surface. And here I'm adding my second DIY with the gold belly band. Uh, you'll see in a minute where I added the brooch, the crystal and pearl brooch. I'm adding a peonies candle. And here I'm adding the spring wreath that says hello spring. I'm also going to do, uh, there's also going to be a look where I add some spring candies and jelly beans. And then there will be another look where I add bunnies and butterflies. I 
I hope you enjoyed my three spring DIY ideas. I love the way it looks. What do you think? If you enjoyed it too, let me know. Leave me a comment below. I appreciate you being here and I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. I want to thank Christina of the DIY Mommy for inviting me to participate in this challenge. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Now that you've made it to this point in my video, click one of the video links at the end of this video to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And also click the playlist down in the description box to see the playlist of all the other participants in this collaboration. I upload new videos every week. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!